Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the updated version of Accentize DX Revive Pro, trying it out on some dialogue, and also working a little bit with Accentize Chameleon for reverb matching. Let's get started. Now, if you're familiar with DX Revive, you'll know that it offers amazing dialogue restoration with a single control. Putting it on a track, running some noisy dialogue, and turning the dial works like this. One of the most important things is to be curious about the world and what's going on around you because it's changing all the time. And actually, you know, if you've learned to skill, that skill now does not stay fresh and relevant for as long as it did five or 10 years ago. What you just heard is the new Studio 2 algorithm, which improves on what the original Studio algorithm offered. The original one reduced noise, reverb, and artifacts if they were present in recordings, it's also applied EQ to give the processed audio a studio sound, similar to how speech might sound if recorded in a well-treated studio environment with a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The improvements in the updated Studio 2 algorithm include enhanced handling of frequencies above 4 kHz, better handling of higher pitched voices, and also it addresses some potential robotic artifacts that could occur on some voices. Let's hear it working again. This audio is very thin and slightly reverberant. With almost every manufacturer represented from the world of commercial vehicles, there was plenty for visitors to look at. And whilst many will be coming back to check out a specific vehicle for their fleet or the company, you certainly wouldn't get bored here. And now a quick before and after. With almost every manufacturer represented from the world of commercial vehicles, with almost every manufacturer represented from the world of commercial vehicles, Users of DX Revive Pro will know that it of course included a second algorithm called Retain, which did a similar job to Studio, but without the application of EQ. Clicking on the algorithm selector in this updated version, we can see that there's a new window which provides clearer and easier to access information about the different algorithms. We've now got Studio 2, plus the original Studio and Retain algorithms, and we've gained another new one called Natural. This is designed to work in a similar way to Retain, but with the added benefits of improved handling of those higher frequencies and reduction of robotic artifacts. So similar improvements to what we've got in the new Studio 2 algorithm. While Studio and Studio 2 aim to give that large diaphragm condenser mic sound, Natural minimally impacts the frequency curve, staying truer to the original recording. So this might be better in certain dialogue editing workflows. Let's give it a try. Here's the audio before. Because working across our world-class businesses, is more than a unique advantage. And then applying this. Because working across our world-class businesses is more than a unique advantage. Good, and let's do another before and after comparison. Because working across our world-class businesses, because working across our world-class businesses is more than a unique advantage. Great results there from a plugin which was already very impressive. And another new addition, if you're splitting the frequency bands to apply different amounts of processing, you can now make comparisons more easily thanks to the addition of bypass buttons for each band. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. Um, but we do, we do vetoes and... One final thing, take a listen to this. The magic of drone delivery never, never wears off, uh, especially when you see it that first time. It's... it's a bit noisy and too reverberant. I've already established some settings in DH Revive Pro using the Studio 2 algorithm. The magic of drone delivery never, never wears off, uh, especially when you see it that first time. It's... I'm very happy with the result, but what if I want to retain some of the reverb while maximizing noise reduction? Well, this is where I could use Accentize Chameleon. This is a reverb matching plugin, and it works by analyzing the original audio, creating a reverb profile, and then you can apply this however you like. So if I go back to the unprocessed audio, let's just bypass this, play it to create the reverb profile. The magic of drone delivery never, never wears off, uh, especially when you see it that first time. It's that ability that some... And then apply it, re-enable DH Revive Pro, and listen to the result. The magic of drone delivery never, never wears off, uh, especially when you see it that first time. It's that ability that something is going to take a good from point A to B, no matter what's in between. We've managed to clean up all of the background noise, recreated the reverb, and now I have the added benefit that I've got full control over exactly how much reverb is applied. Very useful. For more information on DH Revive and Chameleon, visit accentize.com. Thanks for watching.